In this video, I'm going to take you through how I make a quick little video ad using Final Cut Pro on the Mac. There's many other smaller programs you can use both on Windows and Mac for this. I've just learned how to do it in Final Cut, so that's the program I'm going to use for the demonstration. So let's start by making a new project. And we're just going to call this B necklace leading on from the last video about how to download the content you need for Facebook ads from AliExpress. I'm going to do a custom sized video of a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. So we'll open that here. Okay, so now we're on that project and we will. This is the unzipped content from the AliExpress page that I downloaded in the first video that I'll link now on the right, top right of this video. I'm going to go into the main images here and you can see this one will not be brilliant because it's got a watermark on it. We don't want that in there. So I would use these three. We also have this here, the video, the MP4 we downloaded, so we can try and use that as well. So what I'll do at first is just highlight these three and drag them onto the timeline here. There they are. Now this is only going to be really small and it will just flick through them like that. It's not very interesting. There, okay. What we want to do is make these longer now. So there are two ways to easily do this. You can click them one at a time, hover over the clip and drag it out. Or what I prefer to do is just highlight them all and then do control D and that will enable your length of time window here. So I'll just put that in like that and that will make each clip four seconds long. Actually, let's try that again. Let's make it five. There we go. So now when we play the timeline back, each picture, each image will appear for five seconds. Still not very interesting, but that's what we have up to now. There are a couple of ways we can make the video look a bit more pro, a bit, a bit nicer. If we click the transitions icon here, we can pick a transition to go in between the two, the three, excuse me, clips. And it really is as easy as just dragging one in between like that. And then when we play back, if you watch here, it'll merge. It looks a lot smoother than just like this when it just changes over. We'll put a different transition in here. That one's not so nice, so get rid of that. You can experiment with any of the ones in here. If you click them and then move the mouse over them, it'll when you through a little example of what the transition looks like. A few of them are pretty cheesy and overused, so try and avoid those ones. You know, that one's kind of old. So there's that way of making the transitions between the images a bit more smoother, a bit more pro. A bit nicer looking like that or another way which you will see in a lot of videos I still use this effect a lot all the time because it's just quick and easy and if we go to crop and click Ken Burns 
This will open two boxes over the clip here that you're enabled on. A red one and a green one. The red is where the movement ends and the, the green is where the movement starts. So if we just click OK here and play back the clip. You will see now that it moves slowly. If we click here again, we want to change the boxes around. So remember, red is where the clip will end. So we could move that right in on the B. That's where the, the movement will end. And then we can enlarge the start box like that click done and let's see what that looks like now and that will let's zoom in on the B before moving on to the next one and what is a good thing to do is just make the movement on the next clip what I like to do is reverse the movement on the clip after it so if we do that again, click Ken Burns. And if you remember the last clip, clip number one started big and ended small. So in effect, it zooms in on the B. So let's re reverse that on this clip. Let's make the end box the large one and the green box we're gonna start in the middle like this and again you can easily experiment play around it's up to you so let's see how that looks now when we play these first two clips back that zooms in clip one and then it will hit clip two and it will zoom out all this really does is just uh, give a bit of movement to your uh, add makes it look more like a video than just images pasted together in a line which is pretty much what we have and you could easily add a transition as well if you liked so drag that in the middle of these two and that will oops didn't mean to do that sorry drag that in to the middle and then see how they play back with the transition in the middle zoom in transition zoom out and then that just can you see how uninteresting this clip looks now compared to the other two and this really doesn't take long at all it's really easy to do Let's try a wipe transition now. And put some movement on this one. Let's see what this looks like. So now we've got two transitions and all three images got the, the Ken Burns on them, playing it back, move, transition, move out, another transition, and move out again. So that's already a 15 second little ad. Nothing uh, complicated just yet, but that's how you would stick those clips together let's go and see if there's anything more that we could use okay so we're missing the gold close-up one like this because it had a watermark on it in the other directory so let's bring this one in Drag that out to five seconds. 
and now we've got this. You can see that it's not as large as we'd like. You've got a white line at the bottom and the black bars. So it's easy to get around. We just do, well, we can either click transform here and we get the box. We can drag this and enlarge it or easily just go here and do scale like that. Uh, easily gets rid of everything really quick. Let's pick another transition. Put that in here. And then it merges into a nice close up of the B on the necklace at the end. What I would tend to do is not mix my transitions. You can if you like. I mean, there's no rules here, but I would probably pick one transition and just use that in between all the clips for to make it uniform. So that's got us up to 20 seconds. Uh, let's get some music. If you just uh, look on the internet for royalty free music, I've got a directory here with a few in there. I'm just going to add one purely for an example. So hold that, drag it, get to final cut and add it in on the bottom. Obviously it's, obviously it's way too long. So I'm going to chop that off here. And let's play that back. Now we've added a bit of music, just so you can see it beginning to take a bit of shape. There's that, and then to quickly finish this off, again, I'm going to rush through this a little bit. This is, I'm in Adobe now, and I'm just going to make a quick uh, end uh, slide. In this 1000 here, so make that black. And then you can put any message that you that you like in here. This is purely for an example. Obviously, you'd, you'd make yours look nicer. Maybe add some arrows pointing at the link underneath, or whatever. It's up to you. Enlarge this like that. And then we're going to export it as a JPEG. Back to Final Cut. Drag it from here. Stretch it out until it meets the end of the music. Put in another transition. And that is a 25, 27 second long little video ad. Obviously, it, 
it doesn't look amazing, but those of you who don't have much money and maybe can't afford to get a professional one designed, you're just starting out on a budget, this can help you. You can just easily make it yourself. If you haven't got Final Cut, it's easy to download it from places you might know where you can download software. If you haven't got a Mac, there's plenty of other programs just like this that work on the PC that you can use as well. So let's sort of quick playback of this little ad. And lastly, one thing I would totally do is fade out the music at the end. Otherwise it just cuts off and it looks a bit unprofessional. Drag that uh, in here, do linear. So now as we approach the end of the ad, the audio will fade out. And with that one little step, it makes it look and sound a whole lot better. So that's the image ad, and I'm going to move on and do another video showing you how to make a quick video ad.